good morning dear students next topic what we have from module 3 is uh, poisons and laplace laplace equation let's understand what is a poisons equation in a static electric field in a static electric field curl of electric field intensity curl of electric field intensity that is del cross e we call it as which is equal to minus d b by d t this is magnetic field intensity b we have so this is equal to zero this is what we have equation where e that is electric field intensity e is equal to the gradient of v that is voltage we have so, if there is a moment of charge happening in an electric field, then we can define potential difference uh, uh, potential difference of the two points uh, where in which moment of electric charge happen, and because of that, you know, because of that potential difference, you can define what is the electric field intensity, or we call it as electric field intensity is equal to the gradient minus gradient of V, we call it as, where V is the potential difference. So we have this equation and we know that the curl of E is equal to zero. Curl of E represent the rotation of E. We know that electric field will not rotate. Electric field, you, you, you will not see it is rotating. You can see that it is expanding or contracting, whereas the rotation you will not you will not find so static electric field cannot rotate so the curl of that e is always zero and electric field we can all also express as the uh, gradient of v here as a function of gradient of v here so this is what the equation we have e is equal to minus del v with these two equations we are trying to understand what is poisson's equation here so we know that the divergent of divergent of electric field intensity sorry electric flux density we call it as electric flux density d that is divergent of that that is del dot this you please understand it as a dot operator del dot d that is divergent of divergent of electric field intensity v is equal to Rho. This is what we have a point form of Gauss law. We call it as this is a point form of a Gauss law. We can write like this divergent of D is equal to Rho, where Rho is the charge distribution. So our charge density we call it as. Now D we can express in terms of E. How can we represent? We know that D is equal to that is a flux density, electric flux density D is equal to epsilon times the electric field intensity. So if I replace this D with E, then I can write it as epsilon E, where E I'll be replacing with minus del V. So I'll be replacing here minus del V, but that minus I'm sending to the right. So I can write divergent of D is equal to rho this equation that is from Gauss law we got this equation this is a point form of the of a Gauss law we call it as so it is delta d is equal to rho where d we are replacing with the e in turn e is replaced with gradient of v so we found that del dot epsilon gradient of v is equal to minus rho now we assume that here epsilon is uniform that is uh, where in which we are applying Poisson's law, we found that the permittivity is not changing. That means a uniform medium we have. Then we can write this as epsilon, epsilon into del operator dot gradient of V is equal to minus rho. Since this epsilon is not changing, it's uniform, I can take that to the right hand side. It is not getting affected by a dot operator. So we are just taking that to the right side. It will come here in the denominator. So I'll be having an equation del dot del V is equal to minus rho by epsilon. So del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon is what we have a Poisson's equation.
So we started with uh, for a static electric field, we found that the curl of electric field is zero and electric field is represented as the gradient of V here, gradient of potential difference. And then we have a divergent of D is equal to rho according to cos law. We have and D we are replacing with E. In turn, E is replaced with divergent of V. So we have an equation here, del dot epsilon del V here, which is equal to minus rho. Since epsilon here is uniform, considering medium to be same here throughout. So we can write an equation like this, taking epsilon to the right, we got it here in the denominator. So we have del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon. This is what we have a Poisson's equation. This is what we call it as Poisson's equation. You can expand that. What is del square? That is second degree uh, del operator we have here. This is also called as Laplace Laplacian. So this is what we have a, a representation of del square v here. And if you are considering only one dimension, then it will be del square v by del x square. So this is what we have one dimension representation of Poisson's equation. Otherwise, a 3D equation, three dimensional equation in a Cartesian form, we will be having something like this. This is what we call it as a uh, Poisson's equation. Next, we have a Laplace, Laplace equation. Laplace equation, uh, we will get it from Poisson's equation by substituting rho is equal to zero. What does it mean? We are going to assume that in a closed surface, there is no charge. If there is no charge enclosed by the closed surface, then rho will be zero or the charge will be zero. That is what we call it as a Laplace equation. So we equate rho is equal to zero in a Poisson's equation. If you are equating rho zero, then you will be getting del square v is equal to zero. And this is what we call it as a Laplace equation. What is a Laplace equation? I repeat, it is same as Poisson's equation, only uh, a condition we are going to apply, that is the closed surface doesn't have any charge, that means rho becomes zero, then you will be having a Laplace equation and Laplace equation says that del square v is equal to zero, why? Because rho is becoming zero. So the Poisson's equation will become Laplace equation if you substitute rho is equal to zero. As epsilon changes, that is, if it is a non-uniform epsilon, you will be having a different situation. That's what given here in this equation. For a uniform, let us understand, uniform uh, epsilon, we will find that del square v is equal to zero as the Laplace equation. Now, okay. Now let us take a parallel plate capacitor. Let us try to find solution to Laplace equation. So del square V is equal to zero is what the Laplace equation you have. You can find the solution. Finding solution to the second order differential equation is finding a value of V. So we have to talk about one more theorem that we will take up in the next video. That is a uniqueness theorem we call it as. What is that uniqueness theorem says? This Laplace equation is a second order differential equation. We will be expecting two solution. But here in this situation, we found that only one potential difference we satisfy this condition of del square v becoming zero. So we will see that it's only one solution exists here. So we will be having one unique value here. For that, you know, this Laplace condition will be satisfied. So del square v is equal to zero and you will you can find a solution to this equation that is finding a value for v and surprisingly we found that this v will be unique instead of getting two values we'll be getting only one value here that is what we call it as solution to this Laplace equation. So let us consider here a parallel plate capacitor here. Uh, I have a parallel plate capacitor, x is equal to zero. I can call this as a cathode where V is equal to zero. And this is what I call it as anode, which is having a distance D here. That is D is the distance between the two plate of capacitor. I have x is equal to zero here, x is equal to D I have here. This is having a voltage zero, potential zero, and this is having a potential V naught here. If this is the situation, uh, Neglecting the fringing of field at the edges. We found that at the edges, you will see that, uh, you know, it is reducing, but still we can ignore that and we can say that V is equal to V of X. So del square V is equal to del square V by del X square is equal to zero. This is according to the Laplace equation. So I can, we can write that del V is equal to del X because 
if a second degree derivative of a variable is zero, then first derivative should be a constant. First derivative should, uh, you know, uh, first derivative should be a constant. So we will be having an equation here that is uh, first degree uh, we will be having, first derivative is having A, then we can be equal to A into X plus B, where is, uh, you know, with respect to S, we will be differentiating. So A into X plus B is what the solution, uh, solution we call it as a general solution to this Laplace equation. So, once we have arrived at this, we will be referring this condition that is x will be d, then b is equal to v0 and x, if x is 0, v will be 0. We will apply this condition to find out the constants what we have here, uh, constant a and b what we have here in the general solution of this v. So let's do that. So we know that v is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0. And we know that potential at the other plate is v0. And this is having a distance x. So now substituting these two conditions, I can find out a, a and b constant. So what I do is uh, I'll take this equation. And if for this equation, I'll be substitute x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, v is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0 plus b. I'll be getting so I can say that b is equal to 0. So that's what we have taken here b is equal to 0. Now take any one equation and we can substitute b 0 then if I take an equation b naught is equal to a into a into d plus 0 we have because we know that x is equal to d in the second case so I'll be substituting x is equal to d here then v is a is equal to v naught divided by d we have so we'll be getting a value a very simple here what you have to do is you have to construct two equations so one equation based on this condition the another one equation based on this condition you get two equations so first two equation we found that it's becoming zero in the second equation i'll be applying this condition so v naught is equal to v is equal to v naught at x is equal to d and we know that b is equal to zero already so i'll be getting now a is equal to v naught by d so now v is equal to v naught by d into x. This is what we call it as a particular solution. Now, once we know what is v here, once we know the value of v, which is v naught divided by d into x, what I do is I can get an expression for electric field intensity. Electric field intensity according to, uh, you know, equation which we have already learned uh, while deriving a Poisson's equation, it says that minus gradient v and gradient is what we have del v by del x. So this is what we have minus del V by del X into AX, where V is equal to V naught by D into X. If I substitute V is equal to V naught divided by D into X, then I'll be getting electric field intensity E is equal to minus V naught divided by D into AX. This is what we have a uh, value for electric field intensity. So we constructed a Poiseo Laplace equation and through that, we could get a value for electric field intensity. Thank you.